Welcome to my YouTube channel, Old Fart on a BMX. This is my inaugural video and it's going to be a bike check on my DK generally 22 inch wheel model. First I'd like to give a quick uh, explanation of, for uh, why I decided to take up freestyle BMX at 45 years old. It started with me looking for a BMX for my son and uh, I saw one that I liked for myself. Being a huge Mopar and Dukes of Hazards fan, the DK General Lee caught my eye. And not only that, when I saw it was available in 22 inch wheel size, I decided that both of us would be getting a new BMX for our birthdays. I rode BMX as a kid, not necessarily very well. I was in the Sail BMX club for a while. Didn't really not twig how to race until I got a bit older. And by then the BMX fad had waned and the club had closed. Back in my day there weren't any skate parks or YouTube tutorials, but there is now, so with YouTube help I plan to learn some basic skate park tricks, that is dropping into the quarter, blasting out of the quarter, and alley-oos. So let's have a look at the bike now. It's a full 4130 chromo frame, four bars and cranks, 22.5. 125 inch top tube. The frame has uh, a gusset at the top tube here. Uh, I decided to uh, tip the bike upside down and screw a bit of um, Kiwi aftershave in it just to protect it from rust. Hello to any of our Kiwi cousins tuning in from over the Dutch. Uh, I'm a bit pedantic about looking after my toys these days. My Crossrider BMX Pro from my young days ended up in poor condition. I've still got it in the shed and intend to do a full restoration on it, so that can be in a future video, I'm sure. Yes, yeah, so I was a little bit worried about um, moisture getting in under that gusset and corroding it, because it no doubt was welded on and then painted. There wouldn't be any, um, you know, any protection underneath it, so hopefully it'll be right now. Bike's got uh, wires, hollow chromon cranks, DK blender pedals that are a nylon fiberglass material. Now I think the right pedal has actually got a bit of a creak in it. I've put a bit of lightweight oil in it and it uh, changes a little bit. I'll try some uh, heavy oil, see if that fixes it. Uh, the wheels. The wheels are Wise Retrix 1 single wall aluminium which was rather disappointing given that the specs I'd been looking at on online on this DK Australia website said that they were Retrix 2 dual wheel walls. So uh, when I found that my new pride and joy didn't have the wheels I thought it was going to have, I was a bit disappointed. Apparently this was a worldwide error on the website and I was the first person to ever pick it up. So extremely disappointing. I got somewhat of an apology from the Australian importers. I thought a free t-shirt would have been ordered, but no. I had to import that myself from the States. Possibly one of the most expensive t-shirts ever, but don't tell the wife. Anyway, tyres 22 inch obviously by 2.3 inch multi-surface. 65 psi tyres. I've uh, tested the limits of the front tyres group on two occasions now, uh, but more on that in another video. Here's a clue <clears throat> that there is blood that I haven't cleaned off yet. Chromoly bars, which are chrome plated, look, look the business. It's a little bit disappointing that top tube it looks like they haven't polished it the um the main tube is polished so the top tube there actually looks like it's got a bit of a satin finish to it compared to the rest of the the bars uh wires levers which as you can see i'm gonna have to get the touch up paint on more of a clue to the upcoming video Rear U brake. I'm uh, 
not that familiar with them. It's the first time I've seen a, a U brake. I've sort of seen V brakes and centre pull brakes, but um, they seem to work well. And just a standard front caliper. The uh, I think the, by Australian law, you're required to have brakes on the front and rear wheels. Initially, the uh, the, the brakes were very weak. I was uh, nearly snapping the cables trying to lock the wheels and virtually couldn't do it except on dirt. So I changed pads to some clear pads, front and rear, and they're a whole lot better now. They, uh, they do make a fair bit of squealing noise. Um, I've been told that when the anodising wears off the, the rim, It'll help a fair bit. Uh, the front, you can you can actually see the caliper vibrating when you're braking. Um, and I've tried tightening it up a little bit, but it seems like it's a very fine line between being loose and being too tight that it won't open up again when you release the lever. Yeah, when I take it into the first service soon, hopefully, I'll uh, see if they can fine tune things a bit better. It's due for the first service, the front wheel, I mean the rear wheel has got uh, quite a wobble in it now when you give it a spin so the spokes are probably bedded in and it needs shrewing. Yeah, it's a pity the front brakes aren't uh, U-brakes as well, but there's no provision on the fork for them. I think it'd be a, um, they would work a lot better. I, I like having a front brake, I remember doing endos or stoppies, whatever you want to call them. As a kid, speaking of the uh, fork, it's 100% chromo, chromoly, tapered legs, built in bearing race, internally threaded. Whether it's post welding heat treated, I don't know. One thing that I thought was a bit strange though, there's no, unlike on my son's bike, I'm not sure if you can see that there, there is actually a you won't see it because it's everything black. There's actually a safety washer there. There's a hole in the dropout with the, the, the tang of a safety washer goes in. So that if the axle comes a little bit loose, your wheel won't fall off straight away. Whereas the DK doesn't have that. Um, so good idea to check the wheel nut tension very regularly. I guess I could drill a hole myself and put one in, but then I'd be modifying the bike. There's a whole can of worms there. If you're wondering what's going on here, once again with me being pedantic about looking after my gear, I tried to make some crash knobs. These ones are very agricultural at the moment. I'm going to eventually come up with another set that uh, don't stick out anywhere near as far. They're just a plastic cup, so cap, so if you go down, it's going to rub on that and not the forks and everything so much. Same at the rear. They, uh, the rears are, were the um, very first prototype, so they're even more ugly looking, but hopefully that'll get sorted one day soon. The seat has got integrated seat post clamp. It's a um, pivotal seat with a um, stealth post DK seat. Uh, I actually had to turn the post, take the seat off and turn the post 180 to get the seat at a reasonable angle. I can't work out for the life of me what the uh, craze is for having the seat pointed up like that. It just looks like a testicular injury waiting to happen to me. Um, so that's it. The seat's currently up as high as it'll go, and I've got a, a long post on order so that I can have a more comfortable ride on the ride home. I'll just have to uh, remember to bring a Allen key with me at all times so I can adjust it down when I get to the skate park. This uh, O1 cutout in the, the brace in there, reference to the uh, Duke boys. Dodge Charger General Lee. Uh, 
Uh, I don't even mention the hubs yet. A nice looking polished alloy wise hub. From what I've seen in other bike checks on YouTube, just got this little cassette here. Doesn't sound cool. That's the best sounding cassette I've heard. Did I get that right? Yep. Okay. So yeah, I'm six foot tall, I'm 183 centimetres. So I feel like the bike's a good fit for me. Although I'm actually, I'm trying to learn how to do manuals and I'm having difficulty. Although that being said, uh, you can teach an old dog new tricks, it just takes four times as long. I'd actually never heard of a manual until I started researching BMXs for my son. So the extra length from the uh, bottom bracket to the rear axle, it's got to be at least an inch longer. So that could be making it a little bit more difficult, but I am feeling it, albeit momentarily when I'm giving it a go. Hopefully I'll get there. I'm giving myself two years to learn how to manual like a pro. I think the only thing I haven't spoken about is the uh, drive. So as I said, three piece hollow, chromoly cranks, wise cranks, I think it's a wise sprocket as well. I think the chain is a KMC chrome plated chain that uh, gets covered in a fair bit of sand here because uh, where I live we don't have soil, we have sand, so I'm probably going to have to regularly take it off, clean it somehow, re-oil it. The KMC website doesn't recommend doing that. My experience with chains and sand from mountain biking is that they just wear out if you don't maintain them. I think it's a uh, 26 tooth front sprocket, 10 tooth rear cassette. Kind of feels like the gearing's fairly high, but that could just be because I'm used to mountain biking and having a whole lot of uh, gear ratios to choose from. Once you get rolling, I think it's fine. Overall, I have to say, that I think the bike's great. For a full chromoly frame for Bar's bike, I think it was great value. It's probably roughly the same dollars as you would have paid for a full chromoly bike back 35 years ago when I was 10. Although back then it would have been made in Australia or the USA, not China like today. What's that about sovereign capability? COVID is uh, certainly raising that issue here in Australia. We have only one tin shed in Shepparton, I think, that can make medical face masks. We rely on imports, you can end up getting in trouble. Now who knows, maybe one day I'll build my own custom bike here in Australia. I wonder if the Crossrider trademark is still available. Bring them back to life. Well, I hope you enjoyed my first ever YouTube video. I'll try and get a couple more up soon, explaining some of the details of the accident I had on the General Lee. I'll also try and put some links up on a couple of tutorials that I've used to kickstart my freestyle BMX career. Uh, I may even just put them in the comments, might be the easiest way to do it. So, having said all that, if you never want to miss, miss one of my old fart on a BMX videos again, remember to ring that bell. <laughs> Shout out to Scotty Kilmer there.